Hi, my name is Matthew Hipsey and I'm an environmental science lecturer here at UWA. If you choose to do the environmental science major, I'm one of the people you'll meet across the discipline. Environmental science is about understanding the impact of human activity on our environmental systems. That is our air, our land, our rivers and our coastal systems and developing scientific solutions to help secure a sustainable global environment into the future. The size and complexity of environmental problems in our rapidly developing world are extensive. These relate to issues of air and water pollution, land degradation, climate change, pressures on our water resources, habitat destruction and biodiversity loss. As a result, there is an ever-increasing need for scientists with rigorous interdisciplinary training in environmental systems so that they can innovate environmental solutions for the future. Environmental science is about providing an integrated, quantitative and truly cross-disciplinary approach to the study of environmental systems. It's all about trying to piece together the complex puzzle, pulling together our understanding of physical, chemical, biological processes, and looking at how these are affected as a consequence of population growth and economic development. Our curriculum here at UWA is designed to prepare students with the core skills and understanding that enables them to make a difference in solving environmental problems. As part of this major, you will develop a solid foundation in biological, physical, natural sciences, and also get specialised training for integrated analysis and assessment of environmental challenges. Here at UWA, you can take two streams in environmental science one with a biological focus and one with an earth science focus. In both streams, you'll conduct a range of activities, including uh, field trips, laboratory work, and also gaining experience using a range of software tools, such as geographical information systems and computer modeling. At level one, you'll study two core units that are common to many of the majors. The first unit is the dynamic planet. Here is Dr. Mary G to tell you about this unit. Hello, my name's Mary G. I'm first year geoscience coordinator in the School of Earth and Environment here at UWA. In first semester, first year, I coordinate EART 1105, Dynamic Planet, which is a broad-based Earth System Science unit. For this, we draw on specialties from across the school, and as we're a very diverse school with a lots of specialist fields, we can be uh, covering topics such as climate change, we can be looking at the way the biosphere inter interacts with the rest of the planet, we can be looking at volcanoes and the way that they interact with the atmosphere, for instance. So it's an extremely diverse unit, and it's a unit that is updated yearly, so it's very hard to talk about specific content. We also focus a lot on students um, learning about earth systems, earth processes, and learning about topical um, processes such as climate, for instance, which is a very popular process, but not just discussing it from a, a point of view of somebody reading the literature, but looking at the data behind this. So we actually go back to the ice core data so that we can focus on the way climate has behaved on this planet over the past 700,000 years and it's a key part of the unit that you, that you as a student will be able to look at a data set like that, interpret a data set like that and be able to make up your own mind about some of the media information you're getting. At the end of Dynamic Planet you'll have a general understanding of Earth systems, how complex they are and how they interact with each other, how many variables are in those systems. And you'll be able to apply that understanding to your future studies here at UWA and also to your life in general. The second unit you will study in your first year is plant and animal biology. Here is Assistant Professor Nikki Mitchell to tell you about this unit. Hi, my name is Nikki Mitchell and I'm the coordinator of first year biology at UWA. I organise our two first year units and present some of the lectures. Plant and Animal Biology is the second semester unit. In this unit you will learn about the diversity of life with a focus on plants, animals and fungi. You will learn how species interact with each other and their environment, how plants and animals function and exploit a wide range of environmental conditions including the ocean. 
you will develop an understanding of how plants, animals and microorganisms assimilate energy and respond to environmental stress. We examine life history strategies and adaptations to specialised environments. We also emphasise the need to understand the processes that can lead to the decline of species and biological communities, a discipline known as conservation biology. And we draw examples from the remarkable biodiversity of Western Australia that has evolved in isolation on a very ancient continent. There are also two complementary units at Level 1, Science, Society and Communication and Science, Society and Data Analysis. These give you an introduction to current topics in the natural sciences as well as general communication and research skills. At level two, you'll do two core units, either the climate system and environmental hydrology, if you choose the earth stream, or the climate system and global climate change and biodiversity, if you choose the biology stream. In the climate system, you learn about the physical nature of the atmosphere and its interaction with land and water. The dynamics of climate and aspects of weather are covered and issues around global climate change are also considered. In environmental hydrology, you'll study how rivers and groundwater works and look at the processes that govern how water moves through catchments. This unit also looks at big picture issues associated with river basin management and covers topics such as where our water resources come from. In global climate change and biodiversity, you explore how climate change drives the evolution of biological diversity. In this unit, you look at the links between the atmosphere, climate, and the evolution of our world's ecosystems, and understand how changes in climate can force species losses and migration. Depending on the stream you choose, then there are also two complementary units at level two that you can choose. These include environmental hydrology, if you're in the biology stream, or global climate change and biodiversity if you choose the Earth stream. In addition, there's two extra units to choose from. These are ecology, if you're in the biology stream, which is all about how plants and animals and other life forms interact and depend on each other and their environments, and geographic information systems for the Earth science stream. And this is where students learn the essentials of analyzing and interpreting spatial data from across our landscape. In your third year, there are four core units, three of which are common to both streams. The first is environmental assessment. In this unit, you develop the skills you need to assess the state of various environments, such as natural and agricultural catchments, urban landscapes, aquatic and terrestrial systems. You will also learn to design sampling programs and interpret complex environmental data sets. The second third year core unit is land use and management, where you'll learn about managing terrestrial environments. This unit builds on our core knowledge of geomorphology and hydrology at level two to understand how to assess soil and land capability. The third level three unit is environmental modeling. Models are increasingly being used to support environmental decision-making and policy development. For example, predicting water resource use into the future or how long it might take for a mine site to rehabilitate once it ceases operation. And so it's an important area for students to develop experience. Here students are introduced step by step to model building of environmental systems, ranging from geomorphological applications, river models, coastal systems, also looking at water quality and ecological modeling. For those in the earth stream, the fourth core unit is land rehabilitation. Restoring drastically disturbed land to an acceptable level of productivity and appearance is an important part of our sustainable development. Through case studies related to post-mining landscapes, acid sulfate soils, and industrial waste disposal sites, you will learn various management approaches to environmental restoration. If you choose the biology stream, then your fourth unit would be ecological processes. Here, students build on the basic concepts of ecology acquired at level two to develop a deeper understanding of ecological processes that shape interactions between species and their environments. This will cover marine, freshwater, and terrestrial ecosystems. Overall, right throughout the major, you can expect four to six contact hours for each unit each week. This is a combination of lectures, labs, and tutorials. We also expect you to undertake around four to five hours 
of independent study for each unit each week as well. Once you've completed your three-year undergraduate degree, there are a number of options for further study in environmental science. Many employers prefer students that have completed at least a fourth year of study. First, you can enroll in a two-year master's by coursework for years four and five, which allows you to specialize in an area that particularly interests you. This could be land management, water resource management, coastal systems, environmental assessment, hydrogeology, to name a few. Alternatively, you can undertake a one-year honors degree in year four with the option of a fifth master's year, either by research or coursework. Students often find that the research project components of honors was the most rewarding part of their degree, as it gives them the opportunity to apply all the information and skills from the preceding years into an area of interest to them. The Honours Project can also provide an important opportunity for you to work with partners outside of UWA, such as mining companies or government agencies. Some students may also choose to apply to study for a PhD, either following their fourth Honours year or following the fifth year research masters. Students who undertake a PhD may move into academia or research roles in government or leadership roles in the private sector. Environmental science graduates have ample employment opportunities with a wide range of employers. These include Commonwealth and state departments and also agencies responsible for the environment, water, conservation, climate change policy, agriculture and food, and also primary industries. In these roles, you may be involved in regulation or research or even in developing future environmental policy. Other employers are private sector firms working in the resources sector or non-government organisations such as land care and catchment management councils. I hope I have helped explain what the environmental science major involves. Environmental science is a challenging and rewarding option for those that really want to make a difference. I look forward to welcoming you here at UWA.